let's take a look at simplifying complex fractions. A complex fraction is just a fraction on top of another fraction. The way that we simplify these is to simply divide. So here we would do 2 divided by 2 thirds. If you do not have a calculator with the fraction function, we're going to do keep, change, flip. So we need to keep the first fraction. Since it's a whole number, we'll put a 1 underneath it. Change the division to multiplication and flip our second fraction. Again, this means to multiply by the reciprocal. Then you multiply straight across. 2 times 3 is 6 and 1 times 2 is 2. This would simplify to give us an answer of 3. For our next one, again, this means to divide. 2 thirds divided by 7. So we're going to keep our first fraction, change division to multiplication, since this is actually 7 over 1. When we flip it, it becomes 1 over 7. 2 times 1 is 2, and 3 times 7 is 21. If you have the calculator with the fraction function, you can simply plug into your calculator 2 thirds divided by 7, just like here, and that will give you the same answer, 2 over 21. Let's take a look at this word problem. Josiah can jog 1 and 1 third miles in 1 fourth of an hour. Find his average speed in miles per hour. It is important in a word problem that you pay attention to what you want to find. Since I want to find miles per hour, that means our miles number needs to come first, and then our hours come second. So 1 and 1 third divided by 1 fourth. So we would make this an improper fraction. So that would be 4 over 3 times, and then flip our second fraction. 4 times 4 is 16, and 3 times 1 is 3. 3 goes into 16 5 times with 1 left over. So that means they can go 5 and 1 third miles per hour. So to review, to solve a complex fraction, we just simply rewrite it as a division problem and solve. Remember that when you are solving a word problem, you take a look at which comes first. For example, in miles per hour, the miles came first and the hour came second. That will tell you the order in which you should divide.